I know what you're thinking, why is he holding sugar-free caramel syrup and how is that gonna help you make more profit? Well, I can tell you this. At the end of the episode, you will understand how it's gonna increase your returns and save you from the recession. Timelines can really hold you back in your progress. If you really learn how to like enjoy the learning and the process, then sort of results and like success is secondary to that. All they see is the negativity when they go to the petrol station, where it's everywhere in their face, being rammed down their throats, making them live in fear. You have the opportunity because you're more switched on, savvy, ready to take advantage. This should be your wake up call. The biggest thing for me is knowing that it's the mindset, right? Because it's the mindset yeah. that's going to take you far, right? Technicals, you're always going to be able to improve on them. You know, and whatever it is that you need to get to to improve your skill, you're going to figure out if you're committed to do so, right? Eventually, trial and error you'll stop taking the same mistakes that you've been taking and then you'll eventually reduce them and then the balance of probabilities you'll take better trades and your results will improve that yeah. is natural for someone who's just actually committed like you are but if the mindset isn't there it's always going to be a struggle so i'm so glad that you've you've really adopted that and worked on that and i'm sure you've got areas to improve as we all do oh, yeah, of course. however being committed to that is arguably more important because someone with a good mentality and a good mind always has a chance to succeed yeah. but someone who's close-minded but academically clever to learn trading, it doesn't matter what they know. They won't ever mm. be able to adopt it. Give them hundred K, what are they gonna do? They're gonna crumble because all of the negative thoughts and beliefs are gonna creep back in. Yeah. Uh, for someone else, like you're you're funded right now, you've got your why, you've got a clear picture, you know your golden number. What would be your kind of message to the community? Maybe someone who's just stepped in or someone who's having a bit of self-doubt that maybe has struggled with a bit of self-belief. Maybe they've been funded and unfunded. Any kind of thoughts on perseverance that you've gone through, especially considering your circumstance of you know having to um, raise your son at the same time when it's not so easy like that. What would be your kind of thoughts to the community or any words of wisdom? It's the simplest message in the world, really. Just never, ever give up. Just constantly, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how many losses you take. Like for instance, I've taken losses where I've, I've been on the loss street for ten in a row, mm. and I'm just like, I'm like, oh my god, like will this ever end? But I'm still here, I'm, and I I almost draw back to sort of like past experiences of like of pain in a way as well, and then sort of like put things into perspective and think, God, is it's like taking a one percent loss really that bad? And then that it just sort of like instantly sort of like that sort of like um, pain that you have from a loss just sort of like fizzles out and you're just like onto the next one, it's fine. So yeah, basically my message is just never give up, just keep pushing through and you will eventually get there. What's going on guys? So we're gonna start the morning off with an iced coffee, but today it is going to be homemade. So I'm gonna share with you my secret recipe. Right, so what do we have? So we have, and this is gonna link into the episode and I'll explain why. So we've got coconut milk, we have sugar-free salted caramel, and we have Nespresso. Now this is the first time Alex has actually had a iced coffee. It's the first time, right Alex? Yeah. Right, yeah, so first time, first time iced coffee. So this is gonna be a good one. But before I make this, I want you to understand one thing. So you've probably seen that we've been speaking about the recession workshop coming up, which I'll get into a bit more detail. But something so simple like this, you will be surprised how, and I'm gonna read an article to you later in this episode, and you're gonna understand what the media is doing right now and is filling your mind with fear. People will not give up their luxuries. So say for example, and I do this as well, you might go to Costa, you might go to Starbucks, wherever, and you'll buy an iced coffee or a hot coffee. Now, when things hit the fan and you're in a worse position, you won't give up your luxuries, you won't give up your four pound everyday coffee just to do something so simple as making it yourself. For example, we've got what, coconut milk, sugar-free caramel syrup, we've got an espresso, it might cost, call it 40p, 50p, versus four pound every day, just do the maths and add it up. It's the difference of you spending, let's say 120 pound a month on coffee, which you don't need, versus call it a pound of coffee, right? Even 30, 30 pound versus 120. There's a quick win right there. Now I'm gonna talk about, you can only save so much because if you cut, 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 that's fine. There's a difference between cutting everything and being smart versus you need to start out earning your problems and earning more money. But we're gonna make the coffee first because I've got a podcast to film with one of our funded students as well. And another one of our funded students passed their assessment today. So congratulations to him. We will announce him tomorrow and honestly the the level of growth that we're seeing recently is just phenomenal and this is the side effect of all the hard work that has been consistently put in but let's make the coffee so we have ice and we have 
the sugar free, this is optional, it's entirely up to you how you like your coffee. So we're gonna go, we'll go one cap and a half, All right? All right? So it's not like a coffee that is uh, cold. So for example, if you've had a coffee that's gone cold, it tastes horrible, right? It's not that. So we're gonna go coconut milk. I'm really looking forward to filming this podcast. It's gonna be really good. So people will realize, right? A lot of people, they're putting in the work. Now everyone's got a different story, whether it's they've got kids, etc. And this particular story will inspire a lot of people to, to push on. I know it. Right, so we've got the ice, we've got the salted caramel, uh, sugar-free, and we've got the coconut milk, and now we've got the espresso. Oh, we've done it. I knew it was gonna spill. Let's go. There we go. Simple as that. It's good. Right, and you'd be surprised how, how good this tastes. Didn't bring the stirrer. But this is seriously good. So all you need is an espresso, right? I made it the other day with um, just normal like coffee in the French press and it tasted disgusting. But <laughs> <laughs> you, you need, you definitely need this. All right, so have a quick taste test. Yeah, it's good, really, really good. You'll be surprised how close this tastes. Needs a bit more mixing. Starting the morning off right and just making sure we're prepared. The podcast is gonna be great today, but what I wanted to just explain in the simple terms is that, right, something so simple as a coffee, you'll have people right now worrying in this fear-based mindset of, oh, the price of this has gone up and the price of that's gone up and this costs more. When you go to the supermarket, you notice that you're spending more on just groceries, for example. But there's going to be certain things that people still won't give, up, won't give up. And if you think that things are bad now, wait until a year from now. Wait until things really, like the winter that they're talking about. Winter is coming, right? It, it seriously is. And what's the difference in prices then? Now, let's say you can be smart and think, right, I'm gonna cut my, cut down costs of coffee that I'm spending 120, 150 pound a month. Fine. Now and again, I like to do things like this because it brings me back to, uh, humble beginnings in the sense that, listen, I can get iced coffee all day long four or five times a day and it won't really actually affect me because I've out earned those situations. However, when you're on the rise and you're working on wanting to become a full-time trader, you want to get through to the next stages, quit your job, escape the rat race, then unfortunately, you have to be smart and cut back on things that don't necessarily move you forward. You having a paid for iced coffee in Starbucks or Costa or wherever isn't necessarily gonna move you forward. It's gonna limit you because what is the compound effect of that every single month over the space of two years? You could have the difference of an extra two, 3,000 pounds that could be invested into something that's gonna make you money. Now, another thing, alcohol. Then you're gonna go from things like buying branded clothes that you don't need to impress people that you don't like. What I want you to start to think about, because you have a unique opportunity here, this won't come around again for maybe another 10 to 15 years, which is why I was so keen on creating this workshop for the community. The workshop is on the 11th of August. 11th of August, the recession workshop is gonna be three hours long, probably going for longer, where I'm gonna be sharing my experience over the last 15 years as to how I invest my money, my ratios, opportunities to look out from, from crypto to stocks, just how everything works. Now, I have gone through this before, right? It's when I first started trading in 2008. So I know what it feels like, and I remember going through that period, right? I remember going through that period and thinking, right, once, this recovers, I want to be involved in it, yet I didn't have the income, I didn't have the money, right? It was early on in my journey. And I remember saying to myself and my brother, one day I'm going to put myself in a position to be able to benefit from this again. So what you need to be doing right now is doing something that builds income. You need a high income skill like trading. So if you're someone who's been spectating, sitting on the sidelines, you are literally missing out. You're missing out on one of the most golden opportunities to get to the next level because now more than ever, you can't even use the excuse of capital because you've got access to capital from third party funds. So once you've proven yourself, you're in a position to earn that, you've now got capital, which means you've got more income to put into these assets. Now you might be thinking, well, I don't know where to invest my money. I don't know how a recession typically recovers. I do, I have done it, I've been there and I know exactly what to look out for, which is what I'm going to be sharing in the workshop. Do yourself a favor and get in that workshop. You are going to miss out on some of the biggest opportunities and you won't know what to look for because you've never experienced it. This is where cold, hard grit and experience comes into play. Because I've been through it, I know what to look out for. I remember particular stocks and share prices, right? I remember looking at particular shares that I would like to get involved in. I would like to invest, but I didn't have the money. I thought, right, 
this is likely going to recover or this airline will likely recover. Nothing's actually changed with Rolls-Royce, for example. However, they recover. Some things recover in six months, some things recover in three to four years. Now, you might be thinking, well, what if I don't have uh, 50K or 100K to be able to invest? I get it. However, there are other ways that you can do it. There's ways that you can average in. And like I said, some things recover in six months, some things might recover in four or five years. Now you could average in at $100 a month, $200 a month, especially when you're trading a 100K account. So it's just about doing the numbers, running the numbers, and actually understanding the mathematics behind how can you benefit? Because what you should be thinking about right now is how can you come out on the other side of the recession wealthier? Seriously, if you're, if you're aspiring to be a trader, and you've got skin in the game, you're getting involved, you're putting in the hours, you should be embarrassed if you don't come out on the other side wealthier. And you know why? It's because it is right there in front of you. And if you don't grab it by both hands, number one, you've not listened. Number two, you've just been lazy and casual. So you owe it to yourself to actually break through. And then on the other side, you're gonna miss out on something that might not come around for another 10 to 15 years. Think about it. The last time this was here at something so great that you can get involved with was literally when I started learning how to trade when I was 18 years old. I'm now 31. That is how long it can take. My life has completely transformed since then. And now I'm in a position where I can literally take my pick. Literally, I know people that are in different industries, wealthier people in my circle that are licking their lips, getting more cash liquid and waiting for opportunities to get involved. This is where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Because the poor, they go into this mindset. I'm going to share something with you, right? So this is an article. Yeah, so on BBC News, right? Cost of living payments branded insufficient as energy bills soar. Right, you're going to see this a lot. Cost of living expected to go up. It's going to get worse and worse. If you think it's bad now, there was a particular line there I saw. And I don't really read the news. We're told by a number of witnesses, if you think things are bad now, you've not seen anything yet said Darren Jones, who chairs the committee, right? Again, it's just another example of what you really need to understand is that they're putting the fear in you because it's on anticipation, so you are ready, right? The masses can't be shocked, so they have to be conditioned and they have to be prepared for these things. So you're gonna see it more and more, oh, energy prices are going up. I remember we told you in the winter things are gonna get bad, so when things increase, you're not complaining, people will protest, etc but you're almost ready for it. You're expecting it to happen. This might not fully set into place for another year. What if it's not fully set into place for another year and a half? You might be a year and a half away. So you have an opportunity now to get ahead. So rather than sitting in fear and thinking, well, what if I don't get there in the first place? Well, that's gonna be the mindset that keeps you broke. You need to put yourself in a position to benefit from it. It's as simple as that. And people will make more money than what they've ever made before without really even knowing anything because they will just invest into things. And just because they're so low, when they rise, you'll be more profitable. And then you put yourself in a position to win. How do I put myself in a position where I'm making 30, 40, 50, 60, 100% a year? So then I've you've hedged inflation by doing that. It's more about shifting into that abundance mindset. Everywhere around you right now is encouraging you to live in fear. So now more than ever, you have to be aware of it and you have to use your discernment to be able to drown out the negativity that's gonna be around you. Because it's not just gonna be yourself, it's gonna be the people around you, it can be your partners, it can be uh, your family that are living in fear because they, do, they, don't, they feel what they don't understand. They don't understand trading, they don't understand the uncapped potential that you can tap into. All they see is the negativity. When they go to the petrol station, it's everywhere in their face, being rammed down their throats making them live in fear. You have the opportunity because you're more switched on, savvy, ready to take advantage. This should be your wake up call. So this is why I'm very excited about this workshop. I'm gonna be educating on pe educating people on things they would never learn in their entire life. It's taken me 15 years to get to this point and networked with some really, really big circles. Things that you wouldn't even, I would say like they don't teach you in universities because they can't teach you in university because if they don't have the businesses, they don't know the struggles, they don't know these opportunities. This is a very, very niche thing, but what it's gonna guarantee is that people are gonna be more educated than what they was before. Now, we can never guarantee returns because the market is the market. However, one thing I will guarantee is that you will come out more educated, more savvy, more switched on and focused and organized than you ever have in your entire life 
period. So I cannot wait for it. So get sharp, guys, seriously. Over this is the wake up call for you to understand that you are in the position and you have more control than what you think. But sometimes you just gotta fix up a few bad habits, get clear on where you need to go, and then just have things available. As long as you're doing that, you'll be prepared. So if it's in six months, eight months, two years from now, at least you can hold your head up high saying, I have worked my ass off to put myself in the position, I've made the right moves, and now I'm ready to come out on the other side and actually benefit from this, and your life will completely change. I can assure you that. But right, I'm gonna finish the iced coffee. Alex is still waiting, he's never even tried it yet, so we'll probably get a reaction to that. But I'm gonna film this podcast very, very shortly. I'm really excited for it. That will probably be out very soon, so you'll be seeing some clips around that. And just generally so fired up every single day Q3 and Q4, we're not messing around. What you're seeing, the growth, the impact, you see us, we launched AFT recently, which is Advanced Falcon Trader. What you're seeing is the reason why people have been able to kind of implement this into their trading quicker than others is because the people that have done the groundwork that have been doing this for a long period of time, they've not skipped any levels. So when I've said things like, right, master the basics, build the foundations, it didn't go through one ear and out the other, they took it seriously. And the ones that are taking it seriously are funded and they're scaling up, funny that. So do the right things, don't take shortcuts because you can't shortcut your way in this game. It will come back to haunt you and you will be in a, such a stronger position to thrive. Make it happen, everyone. This is a tough game, but the rewards on the other side are so worth it. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah. It's good. I'm looking forward <laughs> to this podcast. It's gonna be sick. Mm. Lately, what's been really interesting is that, again, people are confused because they're like, people are now breaking through and it's like, boom, how come suddenly so many people are breaking through? It's because, the beautiful thing is it's, I mean, you couldn't make it up that it's all just happened in one kind of quick go. It's not just because of AFT. AFT was obviously a nice little um, a added layer to it because yeah. it's increased the returns, right? But it will only rec increase your returns if you know your stuff. So the reason why it's gone like bang, 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 bang is because they'd done the groundwork and they didn't skip levels. They pay, they actually done the things that we told them to do. Right? It's as simple as that. So now they're reaping the rewards and suddenly you don't get rich quick, but you make money fast. That's what I mean by that. Because once you've done the work, suddenly you've got, oh, your 15K is now 60, and then you just hit you know, 12, 14%, which in one trade can happen in a couple of days. And then suddenly you've gone to 120. So suddenly that goal of six figures is within reach. It's like, it's right there. Yeah. And that is what is exciting about it. So this is just onwards and upwards. I, I knew this would happen. Everything that I've mapped out from five plus years is now all kind of collating together. And it's now, What's so interesting is that the recessions then come into place. So it's almost come at the, we, we, dare I say it, like a perfect time for people to have the money, have the extra income from their trading to be able to then invest and they come out wealthier on the other side. So I'm so glad and grateful people played the long game and I can't wait to see them win. It's as simple as that.